Hello friends, happy Monday and hope everyone is doing well today. So for our read aloud today, I wanted to focus on um, a biography because you guys were working on uh, making autobiography poems today and those were poems that were all about you. And so what we're going to do now is we are going to look at a um, an example of a biography, and a biography is a book that is written about someone's life and about the accomplishments that they made in their life and maybe some of the troubles that they overcame, and they it also shares um, what they gave back to the world, why they are such a special person. So, I was on Epic, and I was looking for um, a great example of a biography, and I actually came across this biography about Gwen Frostick. And another thing that we had on our choice board today was to learn something new. Well, I do not know who Gwen Frostick is, so I decided to learn something new by reading about her. So, I want you guys to enjoy this biography with me. Remember that we are learning about the life of Gwen Frostick. So, uh, this book examines the life of Gwen Frostick. She was a prominent artist, a naturalist, and business owner. My story. I was born in Michigan in 1906. I got very sick. My sickness made it hard to use my hands, but I didn't let it stop me. My mom encouraged me to draw nature. Wow. So her sickness made it really hard for her to use her hands. However, she loved to um, draw and her mom encouraged her to draw nature. Have you ever had a problem that you've had to overcome? I went to art school. I worked with linoleum blocks. I etched designs into them. I made these block carvings into prints. Wow, and if you look at that photograph, that's um, giving you an example of what she did whenever um, she was at art school. There was a war. I wanted to help. I used my skills. I helped make tools to build planes. Wow, that's pretty special. So during the war, she helped... Um, she helped make planes by using the skills that she knew. What special skills do you have? And if you look, this is the photograph of her working on the airplanes. I wanted to sell my art. I started a business. People didn't think that a woman could do it. I opened my shop anyway. And there is a photograph of the shop that she opened. Remember that she wanted to open this business to sell her artwork. I moved my shop to northern Michigan. I designed the building myself. My art was really popular. It still is. It reminds people that we need to protect nature. This idea helped fuel the environmental movement. What do you love about nature? In 1986, I was inducted into the Michigan Women's Hall of Fame. I died in 2001. I was a successful artist. My art inspired people to love nature. My shop in northern Michigan remains open today. What would you like to ask me? And if you look, that is a photograph of Gwen with her dog. And so this is an important um, nonfiction text feature. This is an example of a timeline. So this timeline dates from 1900 all the way to 2000. And so remember that um, 
Gwen was born in 1906. Remember that she overcame her sickness, that she um, was encouraged by her mother to draw nature and bring nature to life through her paintings and her artwork. Remember that she went to art school. Also, remember that she used her skills to help fix and build airplanes during the war. Remember that she opened her own shop in northern Michigan, and she was also inducted into the Hall of Fame, and she helped with the environmental movement. She died in 2001. However, throughout her lifetime, Gwen had many accomplishments. And so remember, we're here at the end of our story, and remember at the back of your book, whenever you're reading a nonfiction text, this includes biographies sometimes, that they will have a glossary and an index, just in case you need some help with any words that you may not know, as well as if you need to find the page that a word is located on, you can use the index, okay? Awesome, so what a great biography example. I hope you guys enjoyed um, learning about Gwen Frostick today and her many life accomplishments. And I hope you guys have an awesome afternoon.